beautiful Capricorn. I hope you're well. Welcome to your July reading. Let's see what's going on for you. Angels and Spirit, what's going on for Capricorn for the month of July 2019? Please, can I have clear and direct messages for Capricorns? So, Sagittarius um, also got this as well. Um, you might be going through a bit of self-doubt at the moment. You've got, you are good enough. Okay. Um, typically, it's eclipse season, so we are going to see a lot of new starts. And a new start is coming for you. Um, so make sure you set clear intentions and be, be really clear about what you want to manifest um, you know, in this new chapter, this new cycle that's ahead. I want you to um, don't let pride get in your way. Um, so that's about staying humble. That's about not letting your ego uh, confuse any situation. Don't be scared of rejection, you know, that kind of thing. Don't let pride get in your way. Um, I want you to revitalize your energy because, you know, this new start is going to need as much um, of your energy as you can muster. So take time to breathe out. Um, yeah, and just reflect on what you've achieved so far, how far you've come. Reflect on things that you would like to do differently going forward. You know, what hasn't worked for you before? Um, so, so reflect on the lessons learned so that you can enact new strategies going forward. I feel like a lot of you are waiting for um, the fruits of your labor to manifest because we have you're very close to achieving your goal so hang in there guys hang in there um let's see what else we can get for you what's going on for capricorn in july 2019 please Interesting. So we had don't let pride get in the way and now we have pride again. So I really want to read that message. One second. I think it's necessary. I, ne I don't usually read passages from the guidebooks, but obviously it's a repeated message and spirit have something to say about pride for you. So before any further ado, let's see what this card is saying. You need to take time to honor and acknowledge who you are and what your soul has accomplished. So exactly what I said before. So take stock. You should look back at your past soul choices and be mindful of how through your positive actions, compassion and understanding, you've made a better life for yourself and others. How have you changed the world in some little way? How have you shared insights with others? Reflect on what you've mastered. You should never underappreciate or underestimate yourself or your accomplishments. So get rid of that self-doubt, as I said. Now is the time for you to remember how brave you've been throughout your journey. Celebrate. Celebration is required. Humans tend to spend too much of their energy and time on negative emotions or what they have not done. Now, Capricorn, you are a bit of a social climber. You know, you're, you're known for your ambition. Um, 
but this card is saying that you should take rightful ownership of who you are and how you've shared your unique light with the world rather than continue striving, striving, striving for more, more, more. It's the perfect time for you to look around and acknowledge those other souls who have also accomplished many great things and who need to be reminded of them. Okay, so this is a time of taking stock. You might be feeling a little bit lonely at the moment, Capricorn. Okay, it can be lonely at the top. Okay, this card is saying know that you're never alone. You do need to let go of any beliefs that are no longer assisting in your soul's growth. So we've already said that. And with the pride card, with you know, not letting pride get in the way. It's also saying that you do need to kind of put yourself in an, in the other person's shoes and see both sides of a situation. So use your empathy, use your compassion, you know, um, don't make it all about you and what you're trying to accomplish or achieve. There's more to life and spirit is asking you to think about others um, and, you know, acknowledge where you've, you've come so far. Okay, so that's general energies at play. Um, I'm going to use this deck as well before we get into your love cards. So messages for Capricorn, please, for the month of July 2019. What does Capricorn need to release, let go of, surrender? So you've got surrender to receiving support and love. So sometimes people who are too proud, who let pride get in the way, they want to do everything themselves and they're not willing to accept help or admit that they need help. Okay, so allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Remember what I said, it's time for you to um, revitalize your energy because you're going to need that for this new chapter that your soul is about to embark on oh my goodness we've got surrender your ego so put your ego to one side that you're getting the same messages coming through so you need to cultivate gratitude be of service to others and come from your heart a big ego can work against you but humility will further your goals I want you to surrender obsessive thinking. So some of you could be a little bit too much up in your head at the moment. So if you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem altogether. So um, you need to surrender to what is. That's about needing to um, accept. Accept where you are, accept circumstances and people without trying to change them um, without trying to control okay so flow with what is instead of fighting it when you can't change a situation compassionately accept it exactly as it is and this will bring you peace so whenever you're feeling like you're resisting something and you're, it's draining your energy I want you to just go okay I need to let go I need to accept um, accept it is what it is, all right? Surrender your belief in scarcity. So let go of any feelings of lack. If you feel like you're lonely, um, I want you to try and not feel that way. Try and kind of escape those feelings of loneliness because that is a feeling of lack, a lack of love, okay? So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance and remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Surrender your belief in a scarcity of money. You know, if you feel like you don't have enough money, you've got to just keep manifesting that. So we get what we focus on. If you choose to focus on loneliness and, you know, poverty, you're going to, you know, give those 
um, thoughts, momentum and energy and you're just going to keep manifesting that, alright? So I want you to be open to miracles um, and, and see miracles in your day-to-day -day life. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen, alright? So this new cycle is going to be a really positive one if you let it. The universe wants you to surrender to joy and, and allow positive change into your life. So get excited. All right, now let's see what's going on in your love life, Capricorn. This is the Romance Angels deck. All right, what's going on, Angels and Spirit? What's going on in Capricorn's love life? So you've got true love, wow, so genuine love around you. Um, this is the romance of a lifetime is the message on that card. Okay. Some of you were even getting married and the, the support and help that you need to accept from others have to do with your wedding. So don't be you know, that bride that refuses any assistance. Your friends want to help you and support you. Um, a lot of you won't be getting married. That's only for a select few of you, obviously. Um, there are going to be karmic lessons for you to learn, okay? It is eclipse season, so that can be quite uncomfortable um, and because it, it brings um, a lot of change. So you've got forgiving and learning in this true love connection. You need to stay optimistic. So get rid of any, you know, pride that might be getting in the way in your love life. Come from a humble place, come from a place of positivity and faith. Some of you are going to be needing to give your partner or the person that you're interested in a little bit of space. Because we've got the codependency card here and we've got the retreat card. So you need to take some time out, take some distance, take some space so that you're not, you know, living in each other's pockets. You're not smothering each other um, and making the other person feel a little bit trapped. All right. So a bit of space is going to be help healthy for you. Um, just keep that in mind. Let's see what dynamics are at play. Um, with the tarot. Actually, before we get into the tarot, let's do the simple love advice. Angels and Spirit, can I have some simple love advice for Capricorn for July 2019? Clear and direct messages, please. So this definitely is a time for you to reflect and change what hasn't been working for you. You've got the mirror, mirror card. So that's saying, do you like what you see? If not, you can change. Be clear with your intentions. They will be reflected to you in your environment. It's time for honest self-reflection in the mirror. Sit and deeply think about what you want in your life and what you can do to make those changes come about. All right? So only, you, so you have control over yourself. You can't change or control someone else. So just do the work on yourself and you'll start to see improvements in your love life. If you're holding on to resentments or negativity, it's really gonna block you in July. Um, you've got 
holding on to something unnecessarily yeah blocks the way for new opportunities to arrive life is full of opportunities that arise from taking risks and being open to the unexpected or the unknown let go and trust that life won't let you down again we've got a sense that you might be a little bit codependent or possessive towards the person you're interested in in the month of july so kind of avoid that if you can You've got the mine, mine, mine card, and it's saying that love is not a possession. It's not an item to be lost or found. So if you're single, stop saying, oh, I'm, I'm looking to find love. Stop looking. Love is not to be found. It's a belief deep within yourself and shared with another person that you have, that what you have between the two of you is true. Okay? So trust in the other person as much as you trust in yourself because then you can have love without worry so i don't want you to give them space and then be um, blowing up their phone you know wondering if they're getting attention from the opposite sex um, you know you really give them space commit to giving them space give them an opportunity to miss you all right get rid of any like feelings of neediness and possessiveness and codependency all right um and let go of any expectations um if you're single let go of expectations about how you should meet someone when you should be meeting someone you know or if you have met someone let go of expectations about how the connection is going to unfold You've got detachment from the plan and it's saying your love life is not created by your expectations. All you can do is set your intentions and then let life's plan for you unfold its natural course. There is a plan, one that you know in your heart, not the one that you follow in your mind. That's your ego. The one that you follow in your mind, like so how, how things should be playing out is actually, you know, your ego talking. Trust in the divine plan for you have helped to create it and just let go. Okay. Right, let's get the tarot out. I'm going to get your energy in love and then we're going to get the person that you're dealing with, okay? Angels and Spirit, show me Capricorn's energy in July 2019 in their love life, please. I'm getting pain in my neck, so I'm tuning in to, to a few Capricorns out there um, who are holding tension in their neck. And it's a, it's a symptom of, you know, having too, too many expectations about how things should play out. Wanting, can, wanting to control circumstances. Once you can release that, that pain in your neck is going to subside. you to detach from the plan and stay in your own power and um, embrace independence all right with the nine of pentacles this is all about that whole message don't be codependent don't be too clingy or needy we will have um, progression and change with the wheel of fortune so um, don't know what Jupiter is doing in the month of July but I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune in many, many readings for most of the star signs. So um, Jupiter is playing a really strong influence in people's love lives at the moment. So check and see how um, Jupiter's transit is affecting Capricorns. I'm seeing a new beginning in love, a solid offer coming in for a lot of you. We have the Ace of Pentacles. 
You could be dealing with a fire sign or someone quite passionate because um, we're getting the Knight of Wands here. Um, so possibly you're dealing with a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius, but not necessarily. So not only do we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a brand new beginning, a new offer, a new start. We also have a new beginning in love, the Ace of Cups. So this is something that looks quite promising. Um, you're moving into more clarity, okay, because we've got the... The Six of Swords, which is, you know, moving um, to calmer emotional waters. And we also have the Seven of Cups. So this is a card about fantasy and illusion, um, confusion. So I feel like that is going to clear um, in the month of July when you do some self-reflection. And you're able to separate your fears and your ego from you know what actually is going on um, and um, sort through those emotions yeah I'm getting strong Taurus energy and Libra but more Taurus for you so I feel like a lot of you could be um, dealing with a Taurus you are kind of coming to you're nearing the end of a cycle here we have the world card in the reverse so prepare for change all right a new cycle is coming um, you're, you're tying up loose ends. That's what I'm getting, okay? And it is a eclipse season, so that does make sense. Alright, so who are you dealing with? Who are you involved or interested in? Capricorn, let's see the other person. What are they wanting with you? How are they feeling? Let's get the energy of the other person. needing a bit of space okay Capricorn so they're going to be a little bit emotionally distant they're going to be focused on their own stuff in July okay they're coming across as the Emperor this is Aries energy strong Aries energy um, see he's wearing a lot of armor so he's hard to penetrate emotionally he's focused on other things all right he's got other interests and goals and aspects of his life that he's kind of more focused on then he is the relationship. Um, the person that you're dealing with is uh, nearing the end of a difficult cycle. So they could be quite, you know, um, stressed, um, you know, tired. They could be very tired, actually. They're waiting for things to settle down. We have the Three of Wands. So they're waiting on something. They're waiting on um, the healing process. Okay, because it's coming up next to the Four of Swords. So that is, they could be healing from physical injury. Okay? They could be waiting for um, their physical health to improve. Um, but they are seeking solitude because the Four of Swords is a card about seclusion. Okay? So they do need a bit of space, a bit of distance. Um, they could be keeping you in a bit of a state of emotional limbo during this time of processing um, and um, coming to the end of a difficult cycle with the hanged man. So, you know, things are a little bit up in the air and they're kind of just, yeah, again, they're focused on work. All right. Not only do we have the emperor, which is the boss, the CEO, We've got the Eight of Pentacles. So he's hard at work. He's, he's, you know, kicking career goals. And there's a need for you to stay patient. Okay. Um, we've got Sagittarius energy here as well. Strong Aries energy. Because not only do we have the Emperor card, we have the Tower. And that's Mars. Mars energy. So 
there's, there could be some events taking place in July that really destabilize the relationship. Number one, this other person is needing some space and time away and, and a bit of distance. So that's going to, going to give rise to a bit of insecurity within you. Um, but also the Tower card is, you know, unexpected events that destabilize the relationship. It can be an argument, you know. Um, so you're going to need to prepare for that. And just sit on your throne. This could be you, Capricorn, um, just needing to wait out the storm, okay? Wait for them to come back to you. Okay. Um, let's see what the challenge is. What's this tower card? What is the real challenge in this love connection in the month of July? 2019. What is this challenge for Capricorn in love? What's coming between them and the other person? What is the real challenge? Emotions probably are running high. We have the, the Ace of Wands here, so this is passion. Um, and we have the Fool card. So, you know, the Fool can be an immature kind of energy, um, someone who acts without thinking first, you know, um, a bit impulsive, a bit childish and immature perhaps, okay? So... Just be conscious of that. And this is stubborn energy. We have the seven of wands. So um, it's defensiveness. So the other person might be defending their right for time out, for, for space, for distance. Um, defending themselves when you know, you're a little bit insecure and you're wondering why they need space. Because um, this is you wanting to offer your cup of love. Um, I feel that's them, you know, trying to maintain a bit of distance and that's you wanting, um, you know, uh, more intimacy. The Knight of Cups is about intimacy. The Knight of Cups is charming and romantic. And here they are as the Emperor. They're wearing their armor. They're really hard to penetrate emotionally. And you're looking in different directions. You're also wearing armor. Capricorn so it's like you're trying to protect your feelings um, and they're just trying to protect their right to focus on other things right now they're wanting to take space and you're you know you're putting some walls up because it's, it's making you feel a little bit insecure and you don't know what to do because the Knight of Pentacles isn't making any move moves. He's not taking any action. He's stagnant on his horse. So there's a bit of stuck energy here. There's a bit of emotional limbo. Okay. I wonder what that Fool card is all about. What is the Fool card, please? What's this full energy coming between Capricorn? Maybe it's trust. Um, maybe, okay, because the, the full card is about taking a leap of faith. It's about taking a risk. And that involves trust. So trust is going to be a challenge for you in July. So you need to have faith in the connection, okay?
Yeah. The other person is going to be a bit um, withdrawn and withholding in July and you need to trust the connection. Um, I do see, you know, really positive cards here. We have the Knight of Cups again and we have the Ace of Pentacles again. So it's a solid offer. It's a solid new beginning. Let's see for singles. Who's coming in in the month of July for single Capricorns? What personality traits? What characteristics? Possible star sign? Profession of the incoming soulmate? For Capricorn, please. Show me clearly who is coming in for Capricorn. Okay, here we go. Okay, possibly an Aquarius. Yeah, we've got strong, strong Aquarius and also Sagittarius coming through. Some of you, there's a Virgo. Okay, so we've got the Virgin here, which is Virgo energy. We have the al Alchemist, um, which is, you know, I'm going to say it's like the Temperance card. So that's Sagittarius. And then we have really strong, so three cards representing for me an Aquarius we've got the engineer card and Aquarius loves science and technology okay it's the it's the influence of Uranus and they're very humanitarian like you know you'll find um, Aquarians are passionate about um, humanitarian causes they're very charitable and they're good Samaritans and they also are very rebellious. When I say that, I mean they, they fight against convention and tradition. Okay, they like to, to forge their own way in life and they don't really like to be told what to do. And they're a fixed sign and fixed signs are quite stubborn. Okay, um, so they challenge authority in order to affect social change. They reject spiritual systems that don't serve their inner needs. So that's the kind of person you can expect to come in. They're likely um, really good with their hands and, and constructing things, building things with that engineer energy, okay? They don't mind taking risks, especially with that fool card, okay? So they're quite, they can be quite um, adventurous. They don't mind um, gambling and following their intuition, sometimes blindly, even when others doubt them. Okay. Interesting. Now let's see for you single Capricorns how you might be actually encountering this incoming soulmate, how you might meet them. How might Capricorn meet this incoming soulmate, please? Show me clearly. I'm seeing around the home, like around the neighborhood. Could be, um, hang on, what, what energies did we see strongly? Virgo. Yeah, I'm seeing like, you know, nature walks, getting out in nature. That's what I'm seeing there. Yeah, again, someone going for a run, 
So you could meet them at the gym. Um, you could meet them studying, okay? Because here's a, a woman studying right here. And this man looks like he's studying as well. Interesting. Okay, I'm just going to end with some um, last advice some takeaway advice from Spirit using this animal deck. So Spirit, what are some last messages for Capricorn for the month of July 2019? Okay. It's time to go on a new adventure. That could be the Fool card. The Fool card is going on a new journey. Okay, so seek out the new. Seek out new experiences, new adventures, new activities, new hobbies, new interests. Um, you will need to trust your intuition. Now, that's a really good piece of advice because you're going to be tested in the month of July to... Um, because your your ego might be getting in the way of your intuition, okay? The shark card is saying trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation, not what your ego wants you to believe. So your ego will try and convince you of illusions, things that aren't true. And you'll know when it's your ego when it's negative, okay? Your ego will keep you in a place of doubt and negativity. It will keep you in a fearful place. So that's when you know you need to let go of ego thoughts. All right, so trust your instincts. How do you feel about someone or a situation? And that's going to be the truth, okay? Now, I'm loving the eclipse season for you. It's going to be a time of good fortune. With this ladybug, you can expect abundance, success, and, you know, good things coming your way. I do want you to go out in nature. Singles, you know, I saw cards about, you know, going, going for a nature walk, going on a hike, going for a run. Um, outside and that's how many of you will encounter someone special we've got the kiwi card and it's saying that do a walking meditation each day for the next week it's going to work wonders for your me mental health as well as your physical health and who knows who you might meet out there okay it's important to take some time out of your usual life and routine and spend it in solitude as well. So that's your reflective work that Spirit is asking you to do in the month of July. It's that whole needing to take stock of how far you've come so far and what you want to create for this next chapter of your journey. All right, guys, I hope I've helped you today. It's been a super long reading for you, Capricorn. Um, so I would appreciate your comments and feedback. Um, please give this video a like and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.